ready. Thank you. How you doing? Hello. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. How you doing? Hello. 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 How you doing? Christmas. I heard you were going to Christmas. Go in, straight back in the bedroom on the right. Hello. A chicken smoking. Picture Some, of a chicken smoking. Annette already grabbed that. Oh, it's gone, sir. Where are old tools and things? Yeah, sorry, I'm just, because this door didn't open all the way. I just wanted to just hold it. Oh, my God. Hello. Where are the electric train stuff? Down there, too? Downstairs. And the door's right over there. That's yeah. how you get downstairs. Yeah. How you doing? All right, we just finished the um, first day of the estate sale. And it went really good. A lot of people that, you know, obviously a lot of people right at the beginning had a huge rush at the beginning. Um, then you have a lot of tire kickers, you know, waiting on the next days to come where you're going to mark stuff down. I'm trying to get out of here now. We just had a tropical monsoon thunder boom and lightning pouring like crazy everything's wet and flooded out here but i'm about to head home but sold a few pieces of furniture sold a lot of tools out of the basement Go this way Whew. a lot of tools out of the basement um, sold the kitchen table and chairs sold a chair out of the living room several vintage pieces obviously scattered out through the house some of that kind of weird kind of halloween looking artwork that was signed and everything sold some of that got a little river flowing earlier it, about 10 minutes ago it was just crazy there was like those kids toys up there were floating down there's a football way down there floating down this little river but anyways so good day overall we'll be back here in the morning to go again everything tomorrow is 25 percent awful so we'll see how much more we can clear out of this house make some money for us make some money for the um for the um clients the client the daughter of the lady that we knew that you know that used to come into our auction very sweet lady once again very nice lady long time customer so it's kind of bittersweet selling stuff but several things we have found with auction numbers on it that she bought from our auction but we'll be back tomorrow we'll see what we can do all right we're in in the middle of the estate sale we're not in the middle but we've started we've already started but this corner back here there was just so much in this house that we didn't um weren't able to get to everything so i'm back here cleaning up trying to pull stuff out there and look i uncovered this old trunk that was back here in the corner had like a bunch of wood there was wood scraps all that junk right there was all stacked on top of it all right, we're gonna see what's in there. I kind of, I flipped it open and there's a bunch of paper and stuff in there that I can see. So I don't know what's wrapped up in here, if anything. Let's see if I can get the door to stay open here. All right, what do we have? This is a birdhouse. <clears throat> Oh man, look at this. This is awesome. It's like a little cabin birdhouse. This is really neat. That's very nice. Look at that. It's got like a little um, like water mill on the side of it. Looks like some dishes down in there. Uh, let's see. Maybe a whole set of dishes. What is this? Tea house rose by the Dan Danzico Japan all right I think that's what a lot of down in the bottom anyways looks like a pile of dishes oh what, ooh, look at this so nice oh very nice look at this milk glass piece it's like hobnail milk glass little I don't know if that'd be a candy dish or what but that's that's pretty cool right there <laughs> now we're back here to said anything back here in this corner all right so dishes dishes this dishes what is this a vase a little 
vase. Oh, some different stuff over here. Let's see. There's no light back here at all. All right, what do we have? Got some jars. Are they just empty? Yeah, just some empty mason jars back here. Some of the dishes. Mason jar. Several mason jars. A little cup there. What is this? All right, nice little um, pitcher. It's got like a kind of a copper looking trim. Okay, I think I think this goes with. It. I think you'd set this. Yep, you set that on there, and you can actually put like a little little thing down there to keep it warm. Like have warm. I don't know if you put coffee in there. I don't know. Maybe you would, but at least keep like tea warm or something. And then what is this? It's a different dish here. China. Then we got a some more glasses and stuff. Then we have a copper tray here. That's nice. Look at that. And then a little copper candle holder so oh, a few cool finds back here I and mean, look there's a headboard and footboard there on that bed i think there's another bed frame back here a lot of trash back here and some odds and ends but look that birdhouse is awesome but it's day two of the yard sale right now i mean the estate sale and let me try to get some of this stuff out there so we can try to get it sold Yesterday, it's a rain, it bumped down. I thought, well, it'll be here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we thank you so much. Yeah, it is. Bye. I'm just looking. All right, it's the last day of the sale now. Everything's going to be 50% off and still a ton of stuff left in this house so hopefully it's going to be a big day it's probably going to be a crazy day we're just waiting now we're, these aren't customers these are all the workers there's leah it's about 10 minutes till we got a couple of cars out here now they'll be all coming in here in a minute there's somebody else just pulled up out there Still a lot of stuff. Basement still has lots of stuff. We keep pulling more stuff out of every out of different crevices and corners. But we'll see how it goes. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. out. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. Do you have any soap stickers? I can put one. What do you want? I want this. Okay, give me just a second. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, I'm just glad you're not hurt. I will pick it up. It sounded like the roof was caving in well, from down there. How was in the basement? The shelf, I just it fell off. Yeah. Oh, Lord, yeah. It sends sheet rock. Yeah. But I don't buy anything. Yeah, I was right down there. It sounded like somebody was about to come through the 
through the ceiling from down there. I know there's she a blow. wanted to see you, but not that <laughs> bad. Dude. <laughs> there, I was just, I don't want you to Is that the one you're getting right there? I was thinking of okay. getting it, then I just really Yeah, you're good. Get we'll, it. we'll get this. Well, I'm going to pay for anything I broke. I mean, I'm, I know that a blow. Okay, well, give us just, yeah, we'll, we're going to get all I that. I want you to get cut. You just. Yeah. We'll we'll clean yeah. all this up and everything. I Let me take so this. Sorry. It's not your fault. You picked it up. It was and just it, fell. it was just ready to go. You, you can tell how Linda put it in on the sheet block. I can't believe it was just mounted on the sheet Yeah, block. yeah. If you want to, like, we'll clean all this up. If you want to, you can keep looking. Or other than you, it was me. Do you remember I came to ask you, the help? You need to wash your hands. If you go in the kitchen, the, you, the sink in there works. Okay. You can rinse your hands off in there. What is this? Record player and speakers. It's got 20 on it. Is that speakers? It's not a record player. It plays CD. It's just a radio and CD player. But yeah, it includes the Is speakers. Is that something that I can plug in and use at home? Yeah, it's like right now it's just playing the radio. But you can put CDs in it. Those, like those CDs. You can either just listen to the radio or just play a CD. I'd like to have it. Okay. So it's got 20 on it. So it'd be $10. Bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you give me just a minute, I'll I'll do that. And I'll tell her to add ten dollars. What's it called? CD. Just tell her the stereo in the back. Yeah, it's March twenty, and okay. selling it for ten. Okay. I mean, it's only seven dollars and fifty cents today. So. Yeah. Let me go get a um a box. Put some broke glass. Yeah, I'm not going to touch oh, that. There's glass up there, too. Yeah. I got to tell you something funny. The stuff that Teresa took back, uh -huh. Daniel unloaded my car. Didn't know it was hers. And he put it all in the trash can. Huh. Okay. I'll be right back with the box. Sure. And then I'm going to unhook that radio for you. Okay. Excuse me. I was right under it because uh, all of a sudden it was like it sounded like somebody was coming through the ceiling. It was so loud. Yeah, right I there. Gosh. What like fell over? A whole shelf full of those oil lamps. The lady just picked one off and the shelf just gave away. Yeah. Back, man. Hey, my wife's interested in this Hoosier right there. What mm -hmm. What's the best shelf to do on that? Bricks it. Three ninety five, so um so you can be at one ninety seven fifty right now. I do one sixty five, it'd be about as low as I'd want to okay. go right now. You do that? One sixty five. What is it? It's a little with the veneers kinda. Oh, yeah, right kind of coming, but the inside looks good. Did you look at it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got the little drawers in it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got good storage. It's a pretty face. In the back. It's pretty good. You'll like it. Mm -hmm. Should we go 165? Yeah. Okay. I'll cover the difference. She said 150, but I'll just That's take fine. the 15 and go in on it with her. My mom. Okay. My mom. Yeah. Cool, man. Appreciate um, it, brother. All right. You gonna try to take it right now? No. You, gotta... you can we hold it or put sold on it? And when are you gonna be? Because because everything's really supposed to be out here today. Is it? By five o'clock. We're closing at five, so I mean I don't know if we'll be leaving right at five. If there's people in here, we might might be a little bit later than that. But I mean I can put it in my truck now if you. It's not raining anymore, is it? At the moment, it's kind of sprinkling. Okay. We've got some shrink wrap over here, too, if you could wrap it up. Let me set this down and get a little, I'll, um... Just a minute, just a minute. You're fine. Okay. He's on his way for that. Okay. Just, to it, just anywhere, yeah, okay. at this point. Okay. 
Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, we're kind of at the point now where we can will and deal just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. We're not necessarily, because we are going to auction everything off, so we don't have to sell, you know, it's not like we have to literally clear it all out, but yeah, we want to clear out as much as we can. Okay, so. okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I ain't seen that yet. Yeah, that's a good little feature. Uh huh. Great, Appreciate All it, right. man. You're welcome. Thank you. Take that up front for you. What is it now? Sorry. Um, it's just got glass all over inside it, slivers. Yeah, we needed to get rid of it. Right on the front porch, but we got the majority of it and put it in. It was on this blanket. Okay. So my mom said, "Yeah, I'm gonna kill me because I'm back here picking up little pieces." Yeah, she, she didn't come Yeah, just off. we just need to take it to the. I got to get this unhooked for Elaine, and we just need to take that down like to the end of the driveway, out of the way. Maybe I can just Fun. You good? I'm so clean. One of those in the bedroom, one of those shelves that had oil lamps on it, Bill. Let me check again here. Did you eat up? I thought you ate them all again. All right, we are here. It's like the last couple hours of the cell. Actually, we're here like in the last hour of the cell. We're running 75% off of everything, trying to clear some more out before we um, do our auction. We got people buying all kinds of stuff. This guy, this is his second wagon load of merchandise. We still got cars lined up. I don't know how far. Going that way. Oh, there's people parked way out there. Then we got people parked over this way. Going up there. So selling, selling, selling. And then um, this, there was just so much stuff. And then we will be having to lot all this stuff up, auction it off. Hopefully we do pretty good for the for the person we're doing the sell for. And for our own good. All right, we are all done with the estate sale. Everybody's gone. Sold a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know a total yet. I gotta go home and do all the calculation on, on the money because I gotta look at the credit. I gotta look at the cash, add all the cash up and everything. And um, I don't know if somebody broke down or what. There's still a car sitting over there or maybe one of these people parked over there, but still the house has quite a bit of stuff left in it, but we sold so much stuff. But we're gonna be, um, Putting this stuff all in the auction, working hard this week to list all this stuff. A few things left out here. But that was a long day. We did 75% off there at the end and it was crazy, about two hours. I mean, people that had already been there today and been here all the other days came back and bought more stuff. And I'm sure some of the same people will be buying stuff when we auction it off here. But um, I'll be back later on to start setting up for the auction. All right, it is Tuesday. After the sale ended, the sale was um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Did pretty good overall. 
this is the house don't want to you know don't want to speak bad on anyone on the person that i'm doing this all for i mean it's a decent sized house not huge but it was packed so i mean there's a lot of houses that are much much bigger and would have barns and other buildings full that you know you would do much larger amounts than this cell did but i was pretty happy because my my goal for the total cell when we started i wanted to do at least ten thousand dollars that was like my bare minimum i was like we should build it there's no reason why we can't do ten thousand dollars total um how much more than that wasn't really sure so for the estate sale we were selling everything for thursday friday and saturday all right thursday kind of just kind of give you rough totals here we were just over 2600 friday we were just over 1400 so that put us at about four thousand dollars and then saturday we did over six thousand dollars so we put us a little bit over ten thousand we're at about um, 10,300. I've got the exact totals and everything, but it's 10,300 and something is what we're at right now. And we still have now, now what we're doing is we're going to auction everything off. So we're coming in, we're making lots out of everything. Some things are going to be single items. Some things will be a whole bunch of stuff altogether, but we're going to sell everything that way. And we got a batch just cause there's still so much stuff in the house. We took a batch of stuff and we're going to take to our store and put in that auction just to kind of thin it out and give us a little more room to work. So we've got the main big auction here, which is going to be everything left in the house as of right now. You know, any furniture left, all the smalls, however, you know, however we can get rid of it, grouping it together, whatever. And then we'll have one more auction and that'll be at the store for some remaining items that we pulled out. Like I said, just to give us a little room to make the lots. So it wasn't just so much stuff crammed everywhere. <clears throat> but like I said, a little bit over 10,000 already. So I'm happy because we're already at that point just from the sale and there's still there's still a lot of money left in the house so we should do you know i don't know exactly it's hard to say but uh, you know there's sh we should be over 15 grand when it's all said and done and like i said there's a lot of people would be like oh I've, i did an estate sale and we did 30,000 40,000 50,000 yes you know a lot of sales do that you know those are typically much bigger houses so you have more stuff or you know you might have a few more big ticket items or even like barns full of, you know, you know, mechanic equipment or farm equipment, whatever the case is. But for this house, it was pretty good for this size. And there is a lot of nice stuff here. So I definitely don't want to say that it's not good stuff because there is plenty of good stuff. And there's a lot of, just a lot of smalls, a lot of little stuff. But let me kind of walk you around real quick. As you can see, there's still a lot of stuff left. But you can see there's lots of empty space in places and then there's lots of places where that looks full but i mean these shelves were packed full so we sold a lot of stuff surprisingly nobody wanted to buy the shelves but those will definitely sell <clears throat> in the auction this thinned out big time because these were all packed full the floor was packed full in here so we got lots of space and so i'm going to try to sell these wooden tables but the rest of the stuff i got down here i haven't done anything yet as far as getting ready for the auction i got to go through and lot all this stuff up and get it ready and there's still one or two things that people have to come and get mainly people that work for me because i gave them some extra time versus the regular customers that so had to be out by the end of the day saturday that was a surprise that cabinet didn't sell but a lot of stuff sold in here we did real good on all those patches we had for five bucks is there was a ton of those there we sold a lot of patches probably a couple hundred dollars a few hundred dollars worth of patches but let's go upstairs and we can see what's going on we're getting close to finish listing all of this in the auction right now as you can see there's still a lot of stuff but it is thinned out substantially from where we started so just to kind of show you how we're lining it up well i'll show you here where we started at so stuff could be any anything from a one single item like this that's lot one in the auction then this is lot two you're getting the whole shelf here with everything on it and then lot three same thing this you're getting this shelf and all the stuff on it for all those teacups we sold some teacups but we condensed condensed them onto these to make them make these full right down here you're gonna get all those tins and then we got you know some individual items like the butter churns one item these grinders are single items and then like on this table right here we're selling the table is a lot and then there's another lot is you're getting the whole entire contents of everything on the table but we've already listed all this everything in the kitchen um, everything in the living room here has been listed 
and we're working our way back down that hallway. We're actually one bedroom's all the way done. I think another one's almost done. So it's just the hallway and then one more bedroom and that will be done. And then like outside here, everything that's left for the most part, all that stuff is all one big lot. Sold a lot of stuff off of here. Sold the, um, the cement jockey. But we're working on that now. So we will get all that listed and I'll give you an update on how the auction goes. Hopefully that goes pretty well. As far as, oh, as far as the sell, couple did anything crazy happen one thing happened is in the back bedroom there it was a shelf like um oh shelf like this a shelf like this one of these floating shelves had oil lamps like five or six oil lamps going across and a lady was getting one and she picked one up and when she picked it up the whole shelf just collapsed down and all the oil lamps fell and unfortunately i think pretty much mainly just the globes up here broke on them versus the bottom then I happened to be right downstairs in the basement, right under it, and it sounded like somebody fell or a whole entire shelf, you know, big piece of furniture fell over. It was so loud. So that happened. Um, other than that, we had a friend of the person, you know, the lady that I had, one of her friends came and she was wanting some stuff that she said was hers, but, you know, we had to send her, tell her to contact the daughter because, you know, it's not my stuff. I can't give it away. I can't, you know, can't do anything about that. So they would have to contact them to deal with that. And other than that, oh, we did, we actually sold this table right here and those four chairs with it. A man bought them on Thursday, never came on Friday. And then he came halfway through the day on Saturday and he wanted to come the next weekend. I was like, we just, you can't do it. You know, you gotta get it today or I'll give you Monday at the absolute latest. And said he couldn't do it. He said, you know, he's like, okay, just resell it and you know, give me my money back. And I was like, no, that's not how it works. Cause it's been sitting here, Mark sold, you know, for the last all day on Friday and half the day today on Saturday. And we could have sold it. We could have sold it at a higher price and now we can't, that's not right. There's no refunds, no exchanges when it comes to an estate sale. And um, he wasn't happy, but that's the way you gotta do it. I mean, you can't, that's not right. You know, my duty is to the person we're selling this stuff for and I have to get the most I can. And once he did that, I'm not gonna be able to get you know, the, the, I don't have the same potential to make on that table as I did because I've already missed a lot of the customers because it was sold. But that's the way it goes with that. Not really anything else too crazy. Nothing I know of really that got stolen or taken or anything that I can think of like that. But that's pretty much it for now. Once we get, you know, get this auction going, I'll give you an update on that.